<laughs> Hello and welcome back to the channel. And uh, finally, 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 we have started plastering the house. And uh, plastering is a very crucial step in construction. And because it helps to create a very smooth, a very even, and uh, a, a sort of aesthetically pleasing surface on the interior walls and the ceiling. So first of all, what you have to do is uh, prepare the surface by ensuring that uh, the underlying surface, such as the drywall, the concrete, or the brick, is clean and free of dust, dirt, or any loose particles. So initially as you can see this ceiling of ours we had used aluminum trappers and they were really smooth that's why we we had we achieved this smooth smooth um finish but now when you're doing plastering we can't do plaster on that smooth uh, surface we have to knock it the way you know it has been knocked to make it rough a bit so that when they start doing their the plaster the plaster is able to stick because if you do it in that in in a very smooth surface as you were informed the plaster can just come off you know the whole surface will drop off the whole plaster that you've done so of course that's that was um why we had to knock the ceiling of the house because almost uh, all the ceilings in the house are, are smooth because of the kind of trappers that were used so we really had to knock them off as you can see wow the way the roof was smooth but anyway you have to do the right thing so that is what uh, has been happening or what has happened and um, of course uh, the materials and tools that are needed in this step are the plaster mix the water um, I don't know I don't think we used any bonding agents uh, at the moment but uh, the guys, the the guys, the masons are using their trowels. They're using floats, the buckets. They have a mixing paddle. They have a hook. The hook, the hook is the, is the flat square board, uh, which has a handle, and it's used to hold plaster. Of course, uh, they also have to mix the plaster uh, by, you know, they have to follow certain instructions. Uh, as they mix the plaster so that they get the right consistency and it it, it, it normally it involves uh, combining the plaster powder with water until it forms a creamy lump free mixture so the first thing that they do is apply the the base coat after applying the base coat they apply the finish coat that's why you can see the walls are kind of finished but we you can decide to achieve either a smooth a smooth to have a smooth finish or have it textured but for us we decided to have a textured finish and i hear them calling it steel i don't know why it's called steel but uh, that is the finish that we are going for we are not going for that smooth um, finish but uh, one of the things that we we you have to note when doing plastering is when you're applying uh, okay the base coat is typically thicker and uh, it provides a key for the top coat but the base coat um uh, uh you know it it normally takes longer to it it takes a day or longer to dry or to cure but it should not dry so quickly because if it dry, also dries so quickly the chances of it uh, dropping down are very high so uh, it should be kept moist during the curing process to prevent it from drying quickly or to for drying too quickly and after of, of course after it has been cured and it has dried that's when you apply the um, finish coat and the finish coat is uh, is kind of thinner it's, it's like a thinner coat and it provides like the final smooth and polished surface and that's why I'd say that for us, we decided to go with the textured finish. So as you can see, this guy is trying to just, you know, um, level. Those are the sockets, I believe. Yeah, they're the sockets. So he's just trying to level them up. So you are just going to see, a, you can see this, this, uh, um, this socket at the middle. You're going to see a very big transformation 
when he is done. He's a very is really meticulous in the work that he's doing. I think he really loves his work. So you're going to see a very different you're going to see a difference when it's done. So this is like the the base coat, uh, they're just letting it or giving it time to dry before they embark on um, you know embark on the, the what the finishing um plaster or well, before before they start applying the finish coat yeah so after some time of after some days i think that's when they they came back to apply the finish coat okay, so you can see there's a big difference in this in these sockets because initially you could just see a very tiny hole in, especially uh at the this the the one at the middle see the way i started it's really beautiful so of course as the plastering is going on um the tank of the former has already been done so we're just waiting to do the steel work and then the casting will be done and then the perimeter wall also is coming up nicely Actually, this when when was this done? I think this was done um, during the Huduma Day. Yes, there was a holiday that we had. It was Huduma Day. Huduma Day was on um, was it on a Tuesday? That's when uh, it was done. So that's Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Then I think three days later they had finished the wall on this side. So what was remaining was just um, doing the pillars, yeah. This is still, this is where I was saying that uh, we are going to um, place uh, the water tank the overhead water tank so this is where but this is like the final this is the rooftop of the house so this is where the all those water whatever is going to be placed whether the pumps all that they're going to be here anything about water and you know plumbing you know and uh, uh, this this the solar water boiling system all that they're going to be placed uh, at this section that's why you see a lot of pipes have been um, fixed here so that's just the water section mm -hmm. so okay so it hasn't it hasn't been casted so uh, when it's it, it has been casted then now we'll comfortably say um, the house has a rooftop but right now we still have to wait for it to be casted so that we can confidently say we have the rooftop is fully fully covered so this this the double volume uh, ceiling uh, that we had of course um, the windows are uh, the two windows have to be fixed this was the linen store they've already removed uh, those the what do you call them the form work the support the trappers have already been uh, brought down that's why it's kind of messy outside here but uh, I know with the time they're going to arrange this place and just put uh, all this stuff um, they're just going to place them in one corner so maybe uh, when we come here the next time we'll find a very cleaned up space so that's the lounge and this the corridor the corridor that's um, on my right on my left actually is the linen store yeah this is gonna be the linen store where we keep you know all bed sheets all blankets you know the extra ones they're going to be there and then when you go right ahead past the staircase on my left again we have an extra bathroom yeah the extra extra bathroom is here and then uh, it's it's not attached to any room it's just an extra bathroom and then on my right uh, here we have another bedroom of course all these bedrooms are ensuite so 
this is the last bedroom of the house also still messy they'll remove all the um, everything the, the the timber all that should be removed but so when we go outside this is going to be the laundry section where all the washing is gonna be done so also here it's still messy but they'll uh, arrange all this you know um, all this uh, timber in one section so that at least we have a bit of space so uh, to be able to walk around without fearing that you can even step on a nail or something and injure yourself So I think let's go down and see because uh, um, the ma major work is being done downstairs. Maybe up here they will they'll start serious work in a week's time but uh, most of the work is being done uh, downstairs. So let's just go and see uh, what's really happening down there. Uh, so, so this is the living room the living room uh the plastering has been completed maybe they'll just do final touches to see where i uh, yeah, especially for this section there so they ju they'll just have to do the final touches to see where uh, they need to fix to see places where uh haven't been done so that they can finish it completely so the living room is done Oh, that window really looks so beautiful. Um, and of course, the living room is done, and uh, the room, the room at the ground floor also is done, and then the clock room is also done, and the kitchen. I think the kitchen is partly done, but let's let's walk around and see uh, what places have been done so when we go outside actually um when you go outside no before you go outside let's see uh this this the room that has been done so that's the clock room done and um the guest bedroom or the the room at the ground floor on my left is also done just they just have to do um, the final touches now let's go outside and see if there's any progress so um, at the start of the video you could see that uh, the wall the perimeter wall had not been completed but right now it's completed the only thing that is remaining is just um casting the pillars yeah this is so beautiful so that is what is remaining so uh thank you so much for being part of this family and uh I want to really appreciate you guys for subscribing to the channel and I hope that uh, we will continue this journey to the end and um What's up is down, what's left is right 
chasing stars and holding you. I can't see the end, but we'll see it through. So this is the the kitchen and the dining section. Yeah, the dining area and the kitchen also has been completed. So I just want to thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you for liking. Thank you for watching the videos. And let's meet in our next video. Bye bye and uh, see you later. Keep the sky on your mind